Venus is the second closest planet to the Sun, after Mercury. Ironically, it is the hottest planet in our solar system. Yes, it's hotter than Mercury which is closer to the Sun. Welcome to Exquisite. In this class, we will be learning about planet Venus. The Sun is the source of heat in our solar system, and so we should expect Mercury which is closest to it to be the hottest planet. But this is not so. Venus is the hottest planet. The reason, as we explained in our class on Mercury, is that Mercury almost does not have an atmosphere. Yes, the atmosphere of Venus is what makes it to trap and keep heat from the Sun. Similar to our Earth, the atmosphere of Venus is thick. It contains lots of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, and it is these greenhouse gases that make Venus to trap and retain heat from the Sun. How does this happen? First, solar energy reaching the surface of Venus is absorbed by the planet, and then radiated back into the atmosphere as heat. As the heat tries to travel out of the planet, it is absorbed by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and then re-radiated in different directions. Some are radiated back to the planet, and some, out of the planet. Those that are radiated back to the planet constitute the quantity that is trapped on the planet thereby increasing the planet's temperature. The temperature of Venus is typically around 462 degrees Celsius, which is hot enough to melt metals like zinc and lead. Venus is similar to the Earth in some way, and this is why it is fondly called the Earth's twin. The sizes of the two planets are almost the same, the Earth is slightly bigger with a radius of about 6,400 kilometers, while that of Venus is about 6,050 kilometers. They are both made up of similar rocky composition, so they also have similar density and mass. They both have thick atmospheres surrounding them. And they are neighboring planets. However there are also very contrasting things about the planets. For example, Venus rotates in clockwise direction when viewed from the North Pole, while Earth rotates in anti-clockwise direction. Venus and Uranus are the only two planets in our solar system that rotate in the clockwise direction. All the other planets rotate in anti-clockwise directions. These differences perhaps constitute part of the reasons why Venus is referred to as the Earth's twin sister, rather than a twin brother. Another thing unique about Venus is that it is the slowest rotating planet. It takes 243 Earth days for Venus to complete one rotation whereas our Earth does same in just one day. Interestingly, it takes about 225 Earth days for Venus to go round the Sun, whereas it takes our Earth about 365 days to do the same. This means that if we lived on Venus, then one day will be longer than one year, because the rotation takes as much as 243 Earth days while the revolution round the Sun takes only 225 Earth days. As explained in our class on Mercury, we can usually see planet Venus with our naked eyes. Yes, it is often the brightest of the five planets which we can see with our naked eyes. And this is the reason why it was named Venus, after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. It is the only planet in our solar system that is named after a female. And in pop culture, there is a saying that men are from Mars, women are from Venus. The atmosphere of Venus contains over a million times sulfur dioxide than the Earth does. This makes the surface of Venus to be hidden by an opaque cloud of sulfuric acid. Investigation by astronomers indicate that the sulfur in Venus' atmosphere could have originated from several volcanic eruptions that took place in Venus. This is evident in the fact that the surface of Venus is shaped by a lot of volcanic eruptions, including mountains on it that are almost as tall as Mount Everest on our Earth. Venus and Mercury are the only two planets in our solar system which do not have moons revolving around them. Astronomers believe that this is so because they are close to the Sun, and so the gravitational pull of the Sun will make any moons on those planets to be highly unstable, and to be possibly captured by the Sun. In the next class, we will learn interesting things about our Earth. See you then.